In our last lecture, uh, we introduced VIBA's uh, strict integrity policy. And I mentioned that there were actually three policies that VIBA came up with, low water mark, the ring policy, and strict integrity. We've talked about one of those. Let's talk about the other two. The basic difference among these three policies is the amount of trust that you invest in a subject to be able to process the information that it takes in. Strict integrity places very little trust in the object. You're pre precluded from writing up an integrity, and you're precluded from reading down an integrity, and so you can't take in bad information, and you can't propagate bad information up. The other two policies take a somewhat different view of the trust of the subject. So a low watermark policy, which we'll discuss now, is uh, an example of a large class of policies called watermark policies. Watermark policies work like this. Uh, the labels of subjects and or objects can change in the system. And in a high watermark policy, they float up and they stick at the highest level. In a low watermark policy, they float down and they stick at the lowest level. Um, Biba's low watermark policy, of course, has the tendency for labels to float downward, and it involves these two rules. So let's look at the second one first. The second one is just the same as the simple, uh, excuse me, the integrity star property of strict integrity. It says that a subject can write to an object only if the integrity level of the object is less than the integrity level of the subject. So, as with the other policy, I can't write up an integrity, which makes sense. The other rule uh, is the rule for reading, and it says that I can read anything I want to. And if I read information which is at a higher integrity level than me, that's great. I'm just bringing in good information. But if I read information at a lower integrity level, I may be corrupting my state with bad information or gossip or hearsay. And so what happens in the low watermark policy is that my level floats down to the level of the information that I brought in. Okay, so you see what's going on here is uh, Biba is not giving much credit to the subject. He's saying, you know, if you accidentally read some lousy information, then you may be corrupted by that and then your state floats down to that level. A tendency in a system like this is if lots of subjects are reading lots of different objects and not doing it very carefully, is that the levels of all the subjects tend to, tend to propagate downward, and what you have is called label creep, which is a, gives a pretty uh, conservative estimate of the integrity, overall integrity of the system. The other policy that Biba came up with is called the ring policy. Once again, we've got the uh, integrity star property, which says that I can, I can never write information above my level. But the, the uh, rule associated with read is much more generous. It says that I can read anything, right? And the assumption that's being made here is that the subject uh, has the common sense to filter out bad information. So if I'm a high integrity subject and I accidentally read some you know, gossip or overhear something on the subway, I have the good common sense to, to take that into, a, in, into account where it came from. Right. Okay, so what did we learn in this lesson? Well, um, the BIBA's, BIBA's low watermark policy uh, is such that a subject's level will fall if he accidentally or deliberately reads a low integrity object. In the ring policy, it's a much more generous uh, assumption, and that is that I can read anything and it assumes that the subject is able to filter out bad information. All three of Biba's policies preclude a subject from ever writing up an integrity, and so a malicious subject can't corrupt higher level information. Thank you.